I said, we'll have to have a cup of tea later, won't we? Yes. yes. Yeah, we'll have a cup yes. of tea. Here, I tell you what, I tell you what, you'd like to see my embroidery cloth and my robins, wouldn't you? Yes. Oh, just a minute, let me get it. Okay. If you just wait there, I'll bring it up. That's a, um, a Christmas embroidery, all hand done. Yes, even even the um, the scallops outside are all hand done. Yeah, I I really love the knitting and crochet and things like that. But you see, years ago there wasn't a television when I used to do a lot of the these things. Uh, so um, I used to have the radio on. And my mum used to like embroidery and things. I think that's where I got it from her, really. I was born here. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, 80 odd years. I'm not going to say how many, but 80 odd years ago. And I've been here all my life. My family, I think you know that they moved here in 1920. So it will have been in my family 100 years, won't it? And... Uh, but uh, when they mar uh, when they moved here, my family, my mum and dad were just married, and where they were to at Oliver Discot, it wasn't big enough, you see, so that's why they came here. Mm -hmm. And years ago, they all used to live together, didn't they? Mums and dads and, and the newlyweds. Well, you see, from there to here, it was an open fire. And... You could look up and see the sky, and um, there, there was uh, like um, like um, a thing that you put a big back stick on, and uh, and there was a crook. You hang the crooks on to boil water and different things. This this is what I remember when I was very young. You see, and uh, so but after we married, you see, we we. Um, modernised that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you see here, do you know there was a bread oven there? And it was, it was um, a, a oven door and you used to have to put wood and things in to heat it up. And it would make bread and, and pies. It would cook beautiful. It, it would... Um, um, outside it was built up, but we when we modernised it, it was all taken away. But I remember um, having this uh, fire lit, and then you had to take it out and line it with brown paper, so that you could put your put your uh, things in, and it'd be all all nice and clean, you... solid fuel. Yes, a, a lot of people you see have. Um, oil now don't they or um, gas or something but no that is solid this is what I say I haven't been able to do it you, you just put in a few little lightings and a few little bigger ones on the top and away it'll go <laughs> yes <laughs> one year I had to open the door a little bit to cook the turkey because it was getting so hot and um, yes it, it, it really cooks wonderful and it, there seems to be a different flavour in, in those sort of ovens, you know. I don't know why, but um, it does, it cooks beautiful. Yes. Um, it, you can see the fire. Uh, it'll cook and you can see the fire, which is lovely. Yeah, well, I do like that. Because we didn't really like getting, a, getting rid of the old, um, you know, we used to have such you know, lovely log fires that it was a shame, really, you know, to get rid of it. But you've got to move with the times, haven't you?